game track now on Edwards' performance. Uh, yeah, I, I think the whole team. Uh, uh, I'm gonna have a minute answer because uh, you know the fact is it's just we've with the logistic around creating this test match and. Uh, at, at one stage, we thought we might not even have Alliance players available. So it was a bit of a logistical uh, challenge to know who we're going to play and who's going to be available when. Uh, but then then again, uh, you know, the guys had a full week of training uh, last week and up until Wednesday this week. And the way it will train all the other guys, I think, uh, uh, when with their, with their debuts. But but Edward was definitely, he looked very comfortable, uh, you know, uh, Confident, and I guess because he's eight at, at 28, he may be slotted in a little bit easier than some of the other guys. So uh, I think he deserves everything that, that comes his way currently. Julian? Um, hello, Rassi. How beneficial was today's game ahead of that series with Ireland from your point of view? Uh, beneficial in the terms of, of, of getting game time into guys like Malcolm, uh, beneficial to you know, have uh, Poha not been playing for seven months, Malcolm for nine months, you know, the Japanese guys have stopped at a certain time, the Bulls guys who we're all going to watch together now are still playing, is the only guy that must still slot in. So, um, and we had, you know, Andre Pollard trained with us fully the last three weeks, uh, and same with Jasper, but I know his suspension is a little bit longer. So, uh, all in all, you know, the win is, is good and it's, it's nice to win and, 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 uh, but we needed quite the opposition uh, traveling and uh, play away from home and be under really good pressure. And I think this is what this game did give us the times. Thank you. Uh, Ashwa? Thanks, Gina. Hey, Russ St. Uh, Peter Steph. Russ, uh, just uh, overall, uh, you had quite a few first choice guys in the pack, particularly. Do you think it was worthwhile the exercise to give him a, a hit out before Ireland? And just a word on Upper Lele Fassi, please. Uh, the first choice, guys, is uh, I, I think if you talk to guys like uh, Erges Neyman, you know, and guy like Trevers and Gerrit Stenekamp and guys who's playing in the URC, uh, um, you know, uh, final still tonight. Um, and, and, you know, you put a guy like Damien on the bench, uh, Lucanio Am is ready, Kirtley is playing again. Uh, so uh, I, I think, you know, Kobus Reinach is still in the mix, uh, is there. so. <laughs> Uh, we, we definitely tried to uh, a few things, but we, we just try to have a solid pack of forwards that, that know each other. And with Malcolm being out so long, you know, to try and find the rhythm and not having the luxury of playing the Six Nations like Wells, Wells did, we knew there was going to be like stop start. But I think definitely, uh, yes, it was, wasn't perfect, without a doubt. There was lots of, lots of stupid errors and, and, and things that didn't click. But then overall, I think a goal achieved and having a pressure game together and giving both fly offs, Sasha and uh, Jordan, uh, some good ball at, at stages. And then yeah, I thought uh, Apalele was on, on some things really good and other things there's definitely work to do, just like any other player. But uh, I think it's his fourth test, uh, uh, yes, but I think he can be satisfied with his performance. Yeah. Thank you, Zina. Thank you, Rashi. Thank you, Peter. Peter, my question is for Peter. Um, obviously, your previous uh, captaincy didn't go too well, uh, but I mean, you don't seem to have. So, talk to us about your captaincy, and then also, you don't seem to have lost your love for tackling. You put in quite a few again today. Yeah, it was uh, awesome playing here in London and Twickenham with all the fans here. It was unbelievable. It felt like a home game. So, again, getting the opportunity to be captain against Wales, uh, making my debut against them in second test match, captain against them. So, it's, it's special for me. I've got a special bond if you look at that. But yeah, I was a bit stressed a bit before the game. Um, you, you feel a bit different. You don't know if it's your feeling or the, the team's feeling it. You have to take in and consider. And if you have to speak to yourself, you have to speak to the team. So it's, yeah, I learned a lot about this at this stage in this game as well, but my but my personal responsibility in the team as well. Can you so? Um, thank you very much, uh, Zina. Uh, and Peter, uh, good evening, uh, good afternoon from the side. Um, Rasa, when you look at this game in totality, where you've given players a run and you've already seen what you need to see. How much, what kind of selection headaches does such a game give you when the debutants come in and actually show that they belong at this level? No, it, it, it's not a headache. It's actually a sort of a, a, a nice, uh, nice situation to have. You know, 
we can only be as honest as we can be as, as coaches and selectors uh, and tell uh, players why they're making and why they're not making the team. Uh, you know, uh, we hope the Bulls goes really well tonight and there's obviously a few containers there that can still make the squad. We will announce uh, uh, Irish uh, squad now for the Irish series. Uh, which will probably go out, I don't know, is it Sunday evening, Sunday evening or, or yeah, Sunday evening or Monday morning, uh, just after we've received all the boots injuries and we have some uh, bumps and bruises in the team here as well. Uh, but yeah, I, I think I never see the selection um, headaches, you know, it's, 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 it's a good situation to be in. Uh, and yeah, the, the better the guys perform, uh, and there's some guys who was lucky not to get the opportunity today uh, in this um, 23, just because we couldn't throw them in like we did in the past, 17, 18. We've got one year more to prepare for 2027 World Cup, and this game has given us that chance to have a blend of players. Julia? Or is it Daniel? Sorry, Daniel. Yeah, uh, hi, uh, Rossi. I just wanted to get your thoughts on the uh, fussy yellow card. What did you make of that in real time? Uh, you know, I think, you know, uh, when you, um, it might be an accident, obviously it was an accident, but I mean, uh, you can probably put it under the reckless uh, uh, banner uh, and we have to live with, uh, uh, with, with, with that, you know, if you, your technique is you go up and you put your head in, in, in the air, then uh, your feet and foot in the air, then you might have a chance of hitting a guy in the head and uh, if you didn't, if your technique is not like that and you don't put your foot up, well, then you won't hit the guy in the neck or the head. So um, it's it's definitely, if that happened to us, uh, and even though it was an accident, it was definitely not on purpose, but it's it's like a tackle where you go really hard and low, but you hit a guy uh, on the chin, you know, it's unfortunately reckless because you you, you put your foot there. So uh, we, are, we, are, we are not moaning about that. We understand it, but we know it wasn't on purpose. Yeah, wow. and and Rusty, uh, sorry, Zina, if I can just start in there. Uh, in 2019, you said you when you're speaking about Wales, you said that they're not softies. Uh, what did you make of their performance, young side? But they they stood up in moments. No, I, I, we we had a function last night where uh, you know myself and Warren was, and uh, a few of their coaches was, and uh, uh, we we hand pick Wales when we to, before tournaments and and want to play because. Uh, it's never, yeah. We've the scoreline sh certainly shows we've got 40 points, and you know they only we they we only conceded one try. But you know there was one try which they could have scored where it will make quick tackles each after one another. You know there was that one where they were close to the try line where it was held up. So um, uh, it definitely, uh, I think we dominated in scrums, but we didn't necessarily dominate the collision. Uh, um, and I think if we played against maybe a tier two team or other team, uh, you know, the Wales definitely are, I think, very close to the South African mindset. And uh, that's what we got out there today, even though there were a lot of young players in the team. Yeah. Uh, okay, yeah, you're not answering? Uh, sorry, yeah, my head is, is, is a previous head. I'll give anybody else a chance and I'll come back. Okay, Stephen. Uh, thanks, Steve. Uh, well done, guys. Um, Russ, given how important, um, you know, the aerial play is, you know, from a kicking perspective and, and what you can create um, and what you expect um, from an opponent, um, fussy in the air today. I mean, um, that must be um, really pleasing because um, that was world class. If you can just expand on that point, please. It's now in spite of the yellow code. Yeah, uh, I, I think overall, I think uh, Jordan caught two really well when we had the yellow card. He caught two really well. His technique, obviously, uh, Stockers, uh, Zandile is working really hard with the guys for the aerial. Uh, and, you know, when the Irish series come, that will be really important. Uh, but, you know, uh, if you talk to Ch about Chesnan, if you talk about Mapimpi, you talk about Kirtley who's playing tonight, you know, talk about Kanan, uh, you talk about Philly, uh, then I do think overall uh, in the last six years, uh, uh, our back, back three and our flyers are sometimes covered at the back are really getting better and under himself is getting better and better in the air. Um, and yeah, Apolele today didn't have a lot of contacts while going up in the air, 
but he was always higher and and yeah, just uh, he caught it on the run and when he went down, he was on the run again. So that's really pleasing. Uh, there's some other work for him to work on, but uh, that area is definitely not a problem. Uh, last English question, Ross, and then we're switching over to Afrikaans. Thanks, Zena. How's it, guys? How's it, Rossi? Um, in the first half, you guys played quite a bit, you know, threw the war, ball around, uh, gave the guys a chance to express themselves. Um, but that seemed to backfire a bit when you guys were, when uh, Wales were down to 13 and uh, they ended up pinning you guys in your own half there. Um, was that a, just a bit of overplaying? Um, and then in the second half, you guys sort of went back to a bit more traditional play. Um, was that sort of the problem there? And then just secondly, on the squads being named tomorrow, um, are you going to look to name an extended squad with the Portugal game in mind, or will it still be a 35 to 40-man 40, 40 team? Uh, it will be like a 35 to 40-man squad, but uh, uh, that can be uh, for guys, you know, that we might pull in guys here and there, depending on how the Irish series go that we will we can give a chance against uh, portugal as well so you know one week we might have uh four or five guys training extra or just getting the experience being with the guys guys who was with us now here yeah, like andre fenter and nirtle and those kind of guys you know uh one or two of the bulls guys uh some might start some might just be with us to get experience of how we do things because they haven't had the opportunity um so uh yeah it, it won't be uh, it, it won't be it won't be another team that trains with us. It will, will be just an extended squad, yeah, a little bit more than 33, let's say 35 or 36. Uh, but the injuries, we must just get on top of all the injuries in, uh, in today's match uh, and all the injuries that might happen in the Bulls game. And then our other guys are, are getting back from injuries like Kirtley, Cheslin, and so on. Then on the overplay, uh, no, uh, um, when they were 13, I think we conceded four or five penalties and uh, um, when, when we were defending uh, against 13, uh, and it was just stupid penalties. We All the players acknowledged that at half time and uh, yeah, we, we want to rectify that, you know. I think when they got three pointers, three pointers and then the one try when we went down to 14. So, um, no, I, you know, I need to concede one try and score, I don't know, four, three, I mean, well, I'm five, five strides on our side. Um, I do think the balance sometimes wasn't right in the game, and other times it was better, but yeah, we, we definitely have also, that, that's a work on the other time. Uh, guys, perspective.